One year ago, I subjugated LEGO minifigures to unspeakable horrors. <laughs> Beloved characters like Emmett have been taking baths inside of bleach, acid, and drain remover, on top of other substances like vodka, bourbon, coffee, mouthwash, even dairy products for 365 days. <laughs> we checked in on them after one month and after 100 days. 265 days of torture later, we're opening up these horrific contraptions again. Hello there. But we also ended up adding some new ones to the mix. We plopped Lego into some paint thinner. Then, just plain old paint. And finally, we dropped some into 100% acetone. I'm scared to find out what these Lego minifigures look like one year after their torment. But be sure to stay till the end because we're going to be having a giveaway for all of you guys. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on. Now it's time to risk my health and safety for your entertainment. Oh my god, guys. I opened this up for the first time in like a year. Amount of rust and damage. No, that's a lot of damage! To literally everything in here is crazy, especially that one right there. Look, I think there might have been a leak in this thing. One you of these chemicals eat? ate through the metal. It must be like something that causes a lot of rust. Proceeded to rustify all of the jars. I bought gloves this time. Windows open. Seriously, some of these chemicals are seriously dangerous. Don't do this at home, especially mixing anything like that. It's a really stupid idea. Idiot. We're gonna start out with the three newest additions. So newest addition number one is going to be the paint right here. It looks like the minifigure didn't sink into the paint at all. And this guy's been in there for ages. <laughs> the paint didn't solidify at all. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's just a solid white. Lego minifigure now. The paint obviously was in a sealed container, so it didn't solidify. This man is just kind of encased in white paint now. But this next one, gonna go crazy though. Acetone. Before we were using nail polish remover, which I think is like 30% acetone or something like that. This is 100% acetone. And the results, complete an utter annihilation of a Lego minifigure. <laughs> this thing is just filled with green and yellow goop now. Acetone evaporates extremely quickly, so it's literally just melted plastic in here now. Look at the mask of my boy. And for the final new addition, we have a bunch of paint thinner in here. Uh, so this stuff, you definitely don't want to breathe in too much because it will get you high. <laughs> and I'm definitely not gonna get it on my skin. Finally got him out of there. And this dude is entirely the same as before. And I'm definitely not gonna get it on my skin. Parts feel a lot more gunky, so maybe like a little bit of him melted, but other than that, he just seems like exceptionally clean. Now we're going into the much older specimens. Question is, are we gonna be able to get these open? Ah, oh, there we go. And I am seeing that there is mold in there. Oh, oh my God. Look at that. The Red Bull has molded. There are now like enzymes in there and stuff. What? It's germinating. The minifigure, however, looks perfectly clean and really doesn't have anything wrong with it. I mean, other than the fact that there's literally spots of mold now growing on the minifigure, um, and he's encased in kind of like a spider web of goop. Let's seal that up and, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll reopen in a year. Next up, I'm very curious about this one, Coke. Uh, so Coke, if you like soak an egg in Coke, the egg will turn black. Oh, you hear that suction? Bro, what are you talking about? Oh, we have more mold. There's actually quite a bit of it floating in there. Except this mold's a lot more like globby. You see those little globs in there? It actually looks to me like her shirt is a little bit more browned, especially on the edges. But it could also just be a thin line of coke that's stuck to her. Yep. Yeah. Let, let's allow that mold to con continue to... <laughs> enjoy itself in there. You know what? We were supposed to do this one first because it's just water. This was supposed to be our baseline test and I completely forgot to do that. It's clean. I don't see any mold. The Lego minifigure is 
just a clean Lego minifigure. This is, again, this is the control of the experiment. We do expect something to happen to the nail polish remover guy though, and it looks like a lot has. So the nail polish remover, from what I understand, is indeed filled with acetone. Definitely gonna need gloves for this one. Let's see what we got going with the nail polish remover. Okay. Ugh. Wow. Ooh, it smells horrible. Wow. And inside, it is just goop. This was a Lego minifigure. And now it is goop. Now the deal with nail polish remover, again, is I believe, oh, there's some red in there too. I believe it is not 100% acetone. So I'm guessing the residue here is liquid minifigure combined with whatever the rest of nail polish remover is and all the acetone must have evaporated. Because we saw that 100% acetone does evaporate completely. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off, as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Meta of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel vinegar this is of course an acid as well but this one is substantially less abrasive of an acid it's less concentrated and stuff like that but it does look like the vinegar it definitely smells like vinegar um, has started to wipe away a lot of her color. The yellow princess right here has certainly lost some of its paint and shine, but not to like a crazy degree or anything like that. So the vinegar just must be working extremely slowly on this lass over the past year. Nothing too impressive, but still some damage there. This next one is bourbon. And it looks like there is some minor molding going on in there. And I'm guessing that's just from whatever bacteria ended up in this Petri dish and, uh, you know, clung to my guy. And it does look like actually the white paint on his jacket there has gotten a lot darker from the bourbon and his arms as well have some tainting from the bourbon coloring. Continuing with the ones that will not kill me yet, it's mouthwash. He's just looking exceptionally clean. I mean, I'm not really seeing any staining or visible injury to this lad. I guess it's a girl actually. That's not bad. All right, that, that one's pretty innocent. Okay, this is the end of our alcohol run and this is vodka. <laughs> That one opened easy. Oh, and this guy's got a cape. There's actually, oh, well, everything's falling apart. There's a lot of deterioration to the cape. Oh yeah, the cape has completely fallen apart. The, the cape is, yeah, just really, really weak, I guess, uh, from soaking. And then her hands are like stained. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know, scientists in the chat, can you help us with that? Can you explain it? This is another potential stainer. Coffee. Coffee stains things, including your teeth. It's important to brush your teeth after coffee. Giant globs of mold. Oh my god, look at those. What the? Unless that's just like coffee film or something, but I don't know. Yuck, I bet there is mold in here for sure though. Um, and it looks like the minifigure. Hmm. I mean, there's definitely some staining going on, but it also could potentially just be a film of coffee on top of them. I have saved the final three most disturbing ones for last. Half and half, which is a dairy product. <laughs> and I fear for my nose. This has been unrefrigerated. Oh, oh my God, it's like turned into cheese. Oh. Oh, it smells rancid. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, unrefrigerated half and half for a year. No, nah. Disgusting. Ah, uh, no. Okay, this is actually the drain cleaner. 
There we go. We got it. We got it. Okay. Excellent. Ooh, you hear that suction? Whoa. Okay, it's eaten away almost the entirety of the plastic lining at the top of the mason jar. This minifig is still intact, but this guy had a cape. We gave this man a cape and it completely dissolved. It's just gone. Um, and you can see bits of dissolved something in there too. So that's insane and horrible and let's cover this monstrosity up. And the final jar. This thing is what caused the rust. And hopefully I can edit in what it was. Something crazy happened to the bleach jar. This scares me a lot. <laughs> What's it smell like? It smells like uh, bleach, believe it or not. Um, okay, can't read the label at all. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this open. Oh, I can get this open because it's completely rusted through the middle. Again, I don't know what even this was because the label is rusted off. And it's safe to say this one, this is the end of this one's experiment. Um, we will not be bringing this one back next year. It's gone after this. It's too disgusting. Uh, but it did do a great job. And Emmett is messed up. Emmett is dissolving. Uh, his arms are gone. Well, one of them's gone. And the other one is melting. And his body is fading away. Oh my god. Oh, I took off his other arm. Um, wow. Poor guy. He's screaming for salvation. Uh, holy cow. I don't want to breathe this in anymore. So I'm going to go throw it away. And that's the end of this one for this experiment. All right, boys, hands are all washed. Um, again, don't do this at home. Here are all of our jars, minus that one. Uh, we're gonna maybe do an update in another year or something like that. But uh, <laughs> this was disturbing to all of my senses. Either way, we're gonna be giving away this retired Captain America set right here, Captain America. Outriders attack if you guys want to win be sure to hit that like button subscribe with notifications turned on and comment down below any other substances that I should stick in jars for the next update in this video because I probably will add a few more for next year. Huge shout out to all the channel members. I really appreciate your support on the channel, specifically to Almira Studio and Ray Trace. Thank you guys so much for becoming the newest channel members. You can click the join button next to the subscribe button if you wanna help me make these videos. Now I'm cooking dinner, but thanks for watching, boys. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.